Hello and welcome to the Planning Hub. And today we are joined by Lucy Brown, who is a fantastic hypnotherapist based in Wiltshire and Gloucestershire. And she is going to talk to us all about how to relieve stress, really, on both the build-up but also on your wedding day itself, because it is a huge factor. It's a massive special day and it's so very important not to let it take over your life and become a bugbear really because it's such a special day. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, we know that obviously weddings cost a lot of money, so a lot of time and effort and money is invested in them. So naturally people have very high expectations. Yeah, absolutely. So not just high expectations of the day, but also they have to cope with the expectations of others around them. So uh, yeah, so managing the stress is an important part of enjoying the whole process. Yeah, and I mean, like we were, we've been discussing earlier and, and we were saying about how a little bit of stress is good in our lives, but yep. it's having that nice sort of happy medium. Yes, absolutely, you need that balance. So a little bit of stress is good, so it gets us out of bed in the morning, it helps us to cope with that meeting at work or a difficult conversation, or getting our point across in a difficult conversation. Um, uh, and also, potentially planning the perfect wedding. Yeah. But obviously, too much stress can tip us over. Yeah. And it starts to sort of affect our ability to cope uh, and then it can affect our physical health, health as well. So. And also the fact that, you know, like we said earlier, it is a special day and it's ruining that build-up, which should be really enjoyable. I mean, obviously there's always elements where you think, oh my God, that's just a nightmare. <laughs> but it is really important to enjoy the build-up to the day as well. Yes, of course, because the last thing you want is to get to your big day and just be so completely exhausted and stressed out that actually you can't enjoy the day at all. Yeah, and then you get to the end of it and think, well, I don't really know much about that. No, I was too overwhelmed by it. Yeah. So what, what are your thoughts on easing that stress level on that run-up process? Right, okay, well first of all, it's basically all about looking after yourself. And many people are very bad at, at doing that. Yeah. They don't want to put themselves first, but actually it's crucial. Um, so actually with a few top tips, uh, you can learn to cope with the stress and, uh, and, and have a, a nice, cool, calm and collected run up to the wedding so that when the big day arrives, you're looking and feeling your best. Yeah. And actually you can reap the rewards of your efforts and enjoy yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Drink a few glasses of wine, nice, <laughs> yeah. nice meal, catching up with everybody. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so what would be the first point that you would suggest? Right, first of all, it's very important to remember to take time out from the planning. So obviously when you're going through a busy period of your life, so you're obviously managing your work, your job, uh, and planning the wedding, then it's all too easy to immerse yourself mm. too much into what needs to get done um, and to fill every minute of the day. But yeah. actually uh, that can be counterproductive because our brain actually needs some downtime yeah. uh, in order for us to have that feeling of uh, being able to cope. So neuroscientists used to say that actually when we were daydreaming or whatever that our brain was switching off, but they now know that actually our brain is working really, really hard when we're daydreaming and relaxing. And what it's doing is it's basically sort of processing the events of our lives, making sense of them and helping us to kind of move forward. Yeah. So if we cram every moment of the day with work, planning, organising, then our brain's not really getting that chance to sort of process things in the way it should do. So we're not really harnessing its, its natural ability to help us. And I suppose then, then you end up sort of muddling your way through almost everything and making sort of yeah, quick decisions, snappy ones, yeah. and, uh, not really and the wrong anywhere. decisions. You're, yeah. You lose that ability to be effective. Of course. So I suppose ways in which you can sort of counteract that are to maybe, like you say, invest time in yourself, so going to do yeah. something different or... Yeah, so um, positive activity is yeah. very important. So uh, do things that make you happy. So whether that's reading a book, taking a bath, doing some meditating, going for a walk, listening to music, do whatever makes you smile um, because it gets those neurotransmitters going that help us to feel happy, well balanced and yeah. in control. And then and feel more ready to do it all again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, you feel refreshed um, yeah. and yes, reduces all our stress levels. So, so that's very important. Um, also spending time with our loved ones mm -hmm. helps again to get neurotransmitters going so it makes us feel happy, well balanced and in control. And it's important to remember here that our partner, um, we're working together with our partner as a team. Yeah, that is quite often forgotten, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. as girls, we like to take over. We do, yeah, 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 absolutely. But, you know, it's teamwork. And the other thing that's very important to remember here is that actually you must remember to have fun with your partner. Yeah. You don't want every minute you know, to be about 
wedding. Well, not only that, it gets a bit bogged down. Yeah. And to be quite frank about it, weddings are brilliant, but it gets a bit boring if yeah. your whole focus, because you are stressing about it and it's causing that cycle, is everything is devoted to the wedding in all ways, whether it's chatting to somebody, thinking about it, doing it, la 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 la, la. It's, oh, it's too much. Yeah, absolutely. So that is then moves us on nicely to when we spend time with our family and friends. Yeah. So um, you know, our mood influences others, just as we are influenced by the mood of other people. Absolutely. So um, it's important to spend time with our loved ones, but I'm sure they don't want to be regaled constantly by all the things that aren't going well with yeah. wedding planning. Yeah. So we just really need to remember to be excited about the wedding, you know, ask for help and advice, um, but nobody wants to be that, you know, stressy wedding board, nobody yeah. wants to be with them anyway. No, exactly, absolutely. <laughs> and I suppose another thing that we've chatted about before is exercise, it's such yeah. a good isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So actually, going for a run has been likened to taking a little bit of Prozac and a little bit of Ritalin. Um, and that's because of its wonderful effect on the production of our neurotransmitters and other neurochemicals, which again help us to feel happy, well balanced, and in, in control. Yeah, absolutely. So, and then obviously, as a result of that, they're more effective. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, it clears your head. I mean, it's one thing that I started doing last year, and I've built up to three miles, it takes half an mm -hmm. hour. An hour out of your life, that time you got it got changed, gone and done it, got yeah. showered, and you're done, and you feel great. You feel yeah. energized. Yeah, and absolutely. Again, Ready to thing. take on. You know, whatever challenges you've got next, yeah. and I'm sure you miss it when you don't do that. I do, and I think also it's one of those things where it gets you away from the scenario, it makes you go and do something else, even if you don't feel like it, yeah. it does you good, definitely. Yeah, absolutely, so that's very important. Um, so, the other thing is that to remember to focus on the things that are going well with the yeah. planning. It's yeah. all too easy to focus on all the things that aren't quite you know, going as we'd like them to, but uh, the more we focus on the things that are going right. And again, we, it helps us to feel sort of in control and capable so that we can actually deal more effectively with the, thing, with the things that need our attention. Oh, definitely. And I think there's alongside that, from my point of view as a planner, is that organisation side. So if you're organised and if you do things in a good way and quite soon and quickly, then you can yeah. almost think it's done. I boxed yeah, it. Absolutely. I'm right. now just going to enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, and having a positive mindset is so crucial. Because um, actually, uh, lots of research has shown that, um, that actually having a positive mindset is the precursor to success and not the other way around. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is that when we have a, a positive mindset, then we actually have better cognitive abilities. So that means that we're better able to spot opportunities and act on them. Yeah. And also we even have better decision-making skills. Yeah, of course. So why not harness all those superpowers? Yeah. Um, you know, for your wedding planning. Absolutely. It works for everything, really, doesn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. absolutely. And I suppose it's that law of attraction. So if you're yeah. a happy person, the good stuff comes to you. Yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely want to attract positivity. Oh, yeah. Negativity. I know, because we don't want a run-down, stressed-out, very upset, awful bride on yeah, her wedding day. Yeah, hasn't been able to sleep. And no. Hasn't eaten. And it's just not worth it, because then the number of times that I get to the end of a wedding and some bride says to me, oh, I can't remember it. It's still, it's a bit vague. What a shame. What a shame. Yeah. So yeah, so you've heard it here first. So there's our top tips on keeping stresses at bay. So thank you very much to Lucy Brown for coming along and chatting to us. And her contact details are listed underneath the video. Thank you.